Bad chart. Uh, thank you very much. From sevens to fifteens, Connor Braid has had the honor of playing for a national rugby team before, uh, but he's also felt the sting of being passed over. The 23-year-old is blessed with an unsinkable attitude, though, and since returning from a pro contract in Europe, he's set to don Canada's colors again. And like any other Island MVP, he realizes his commitments don't end at the sidelines. As a redhead, getting chosen for Canada's seven squad means lots of sunscreen. People just travel around, chase the sun, so that's nice. This MVP needs SPF. The IRB World Series of Sevens Rugby winds its way through Australia, Dubai, South Africa, Vegas, and New Zealand through the fall and winter, and Connor Braid's passport is about to get a workout. But after playing professionally in England, there's no place like home. Just really happy to be kind of settled back in Victoria again, and to be training back with this group again is really awesome, you know, and uh, just to go to Australia is going to be really fun. I've never been there before, so should be a good time. This tight-knit group headed for seven success has a heavy island flavor with Braid, Mike Fullyfow, and Vikes standouts Nate Hiriyama and Pat Kay. Their goal... To maintain core status and and prove that we're a top team and, and we can compete up there. To try and break into that top 10 barrier, you know, we finished 12th overall last year, but on a consistent basis we want to finish uh, in that top 10. But Connor isn't just playing for his country. I think I'd like to play for my younger brother this year. Uh, it's, his, it's a big year for him too. Cole Braid is battling leukemia and winning. And while he alone must fight the disease, Connor and his teammates are by his side. Connor rallied the troops to take part in the Victoria Rugby Blood Drive to help fill a need. A couple years back, I had a couple pints put in me, so you know it's it's a good chance to just get the rugby boys involved and you know donate blood. So it's important. Blood donors are also aging, and we need young, healthy, strapping men and women to come behind them and, and fill fill in those folks as the olders start to become users of the system rather than contributors to it. So as long as we can get the you know the guys out from the rugby team helping out and, and donating, because I know it's it's in uh, short supply. Connor Braid's commitment to community and the sport of rugby makes him this week's Island MVP. The first leg of the Sevens World Series starts October 12th in Australia. Rugby Canada has taken a pass on him before, so this time he's got a point to prove. Not getting selected before was, I guess, a bit of a, a kick in the butt and a reality check, so um, I'm almost happy it happened. Now I'm just kind of refocused and looking to kick off this year with a good, uh, good tournament in Australia.